Hello everyone today i will tell you about the fta between india and australia which also cover up your international relations between india and australia first of all you should know about fta that is free trade agreement fta are treaties between two or more countries designed to reduce or eliminate certain barriers to trade and investment and to facilitate stronger trade and commercial ties between participating countries for an example ASEAN Comprehensive Economic Cooperation Agreement (CECA) in which the trade in goods and services and investment agreements in which the member countries are Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand and Vietnam. One more thing you should keep in your mind that India could not become a member of this association due to its geographical location. India is a part of South Asia while ASEAN is an organization of Southeast Asian nations. With the free trade agreement between India and Australia coming into force in April 2022 in the last year the business relationship between the two countries will not only get strengthened it will also open a new vista for local industries the importance of this economic cooperation and free trade agreement can be understood from the fact that due to this there will be no duty on 6000 products exported from India to Australia This would particularly benefits the textile, gems, jewelry, leather and IT sectors whose Indian products are in high demand in Australia. Commerce Minister Pius Goel has expressed hope that the bilateral trade between the two countries will double in the next 5 years. India and Australia have established their bilateral relationship with a strategic partnership, but due to the absence of FTA the expected increase in bilateral trade between the two countries was not happening but now the commerce minister says talks are on fta with canada uk and european union and at least two of these could be signed in 2023 in fact britain's indian origin pm rishi sunak has shown a positive attitude towards fta with india the way of india the way india is moving forward on the strategy of fta it can be also seen as an attempt to reduce china's economic influence on international forums for an example india pulled out of the rcep that is regional comprehensive economic partnership of asean and five other countries in 2019 because the china was trying to use the platform to its advantage on the contrary after withdrawing from rcep india has joined 15 of its member and now china and new zealand are the only two countries included in it with whom there are no such agreements The government of India under its ambitious atmanirbhar program aims to increase export six times from 2020 levels to 2 trillion dollar by 2030 which would not be possible without free trade agreements with more countries. So this is all about free trade agreement between India and Australia which helps to increase in trade with India and uh, also helps in exports from India. Thank you so much I will meet you with the next topic